Lord was to send her sons out to borrow from her neighbors empty jars. And so we're neighbors. We don't have to give a whole lot to each other, just, just an empty jar, just a prayer. The very first need that was placed, given to be placed in the jar, the miracle has already been done. In fact, it was manifest in the first service this morning. I mentioned it, um, and I was trying to be careful not to share anyone's um, private things. And the great-grandmother, which happens to be, and some of you know her, Sharon Churchwell, and that, if you know her, that's enough said, just saying her name. Anyway, I mentioned that God had done the miracle, and she just jumped up, came with the great-grandbaby, got up here and shared the fact that the great-grandbaby was born a year of anniversary of her husband's death, Billy Churchwell. She said, I don't believe it was an accident. I believe God did that for us on purpose. But shortly after the great-grandbaby's birth, there was a, a problem in the family, and they were unable, both the grandmother, her daughter, and great-grandmother Sharon, to see the baby. That was her need. But guess who she had in service with her today? <laughs> the great-grandbaby. <laughs> yeah. Can God just do something different today? Listen, I know some of you have some very difficult needs in your life. But can we just testify of what God is doing? Judy Landrum, who came into the early service this morning, who a few weeks back told me she had a rotator cup tore in one of her, her shoulders. And the doctor said the only way for this to get well is for you to have surgery. But as the doctor told her that, she said, I just felt, I don't know, something in me to tell the doctor, I'm just going to give it a little while. And what she meant by that is I'm just going to give God a little time and a chance to heal my shoulder. She came in this morning and said, I went back to the doctor because my shoulder's been doing better. He did x-rays. He looked at my shoulder. and He said, I don't know how it happened because I know we didn't do surgery. But your rotator cuff is completely healed. Can I tell you that he is still in the miracle working business? I don't know what you came in needing. And I don't know what your philosophy and your view of God is, but I just come to tell you, He's the same God. He hasn't changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what He did in this book, He's still doing today. And He will do in your life. Just a week or so ago, Matt Watson was in the hospital, and he had no movement in his legs. Will you stand for just a minute, Matt? Some of us have been joining together and praying. Matt's not only in the, out of the hospital, but he's here today, walking. God touched his body, removed the paralysis paralysis in the name of Jesus come on let God be true and every man a liar let God arise and his enemies be scattered I don't know how the enemies have gathered against you but lift up the bombshell of heaven the name of Jesus and he will scatter your enemies hallelujah hey he's an on time God he doesn't do it always in my time but he will do it if I just simply refuse to give up. Miracles happening all over this place. I know the, the jar is full of needs and the room is full of needs today. But he's doing it. And he, where's Brandon at? Stand up, Brandon. Many of you have been praying. Come here, Brandon. Let me just enter, uh, embarrass you real good. Come here. Are you 12? You got to quit growing. You're fixing to be taller than your pastor already. That's not saying a whole lot, though, is it? <laughs> 12 years old, in the hospital with a rare blood disease. The doctor said, there's not a cure. There's not anything that we can do for Brandon. Severe pain in his organs, severe pain in his stomach. Unable to hold food down, right? Solid food. Didn't, couldn't afford to lose weight. He's here today, out of the hospital, eating. Looks so much better. How, how you feel, Brandon? You feeling better? Yes. So much better. <laughs> he says, I feel so much better. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. See, his Mimi, his Mimi.
me works in our church and his me me is a lot like me and a lot like some of you not perfect but for those of you that know Sharon know that Sharon does her best to serve the Lord and gives in her body but as um, Brandon her grandson was hit guess what it did to Mimi shut Mimi down to some degree but Mimi would text me Brandon give me reports give others reports and ask us to keep praying this body's been praying for you and the Lord did it not only for Brandon but he did it for you Sharon he's faithful He's faithful. He'll be faithful to you. Love you, buddy. Good night.